Hey everybody, it's your boy Celery Stick. Welcome back to another episode of Crunch Time. Crunch Time is where we take a look at new games and see what we think. Today we're going to be looking at an awesome game called Rise of Venice. The boys over at Calypso Games are really kind with this, so let's go take a look. Right away, we're going to launch new game, next campaign. I kind of like this dude. There's a bunch of different like avatars, but he's pretty posh. He looks pretty suave and like, you know, it's, it's pretty dapper. I like it. Um, there's a bunch of different like... I guess they're insignias on the different shields or crests. I like this one because it kind of reminds me of Game of Thrones and the dragons. So I'm going to use that and let's do this. Chapter 1, The Young Leopard. It is the year 1455. Venice. They call it the golden city of commerce, of beauty, of culture and carnivals. But also the city of greed and intrigue. A cauldron in which only the strongest and brightest can attain true prosperity. These are troubled times. The wars between Venice and the other Italian city-states, especially Genoa, ended just a few short months ago. The victorious Venetians forced a costly peace treaty upon their enemies. But there is no doubt that Genoa will remain an eternal rival in the Mediterranean. The enemy city-state will use every means at their disposal to gain an advantage over Venice. And as if that were not enough, Danger also threatens from within the city walls. The intrigues of the nobility and the rich and powerful threaten to destroy the city from within. In the east, the mighty Ottoman Empire stretches its fingers out towards the last vestiges of the Roman Empire. Venice's major trading partner, Constantinople, fears the approach of war. Moreover, the pirates of the Mediterranean have lately grown from a small annoyance into a huge problem. Rumors abound that there could be a connection between the Ottomans and the pirates, but no one knows anything for sure. On this day, however, neither the far-off war nor the intrigues in Venice interest the hero of our story. Young Yakimo di Narni sits beside his grandfather's deathbed. Erasmo, the famous mercenary leader whose cunning battle plans earned him the nickname The Leopard, is about to begin his final journey and has therefore sent for his grandson. In a low voice, the old man talks about his life and his dream. As a young soldier, he accompanied merchant ships and visited distant cities. There were silk and spices in abundance, and with a little luck and skill at trading, these goods could be sold for a huge profit in Venice. Over the years, Erasmo saw the fame and wealth the merchant profession had to offer. A skillful businessman soon reached a pleasant level of prosperity, followed by wealth and the corresponding reputation. Erasmo remembered towns that were founded by merchants and grew to become magnificent cities. He had always wanted to leave the tough mercenary life behind and become a successful businessman of standing and dignity instead. His last wish, his grandson Yakimo, should abandon his planned mercenary career to follow the path of a trader and so bring his family the social advancement Erasmo had always wanted to give them. Yakimo, who loves his grandfather more than anything in the world, immediately agrees, even if he, at that moment, certainly has no idea of the adventures that await him on his journey. Yet his grandfather urges caution. Some families are corrupt, thinking only of their own advantage. The worst among them are like insidious snakes, whose intrigues spread hatred and fear throughout Venice to help them advance their own goals. In their greed for power and influence, they do not shy from sabotage and even murder. As Erasmo closes his eyes for the last time, Yakimo sadly takes his farewell. Yet his grandfather's last wish has burned itself into his soul. He wants to become a wealthy merchant, like those his grandfather had told him about. Wealth, social advancement, a noble title, a magnificent palace, marriage into a prestigious family, and maybe even a seat on the Council of Ten. Ends certainly worth taking a risk for. Is in well, there we are. That you become a trader. Okay. So, to lead our so that was a pretty awesome, yeah. I will support you as best I can. First and foremost, you should okay, 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 okay. All right, so we're in. Oh, wow, that was a pretty awesome intro video. I really liked it. So right away, here is Venice, guys. Oh, whoa, whoa. It's a little crazy here. Okay, that's our ship, Da Gama. 
pretty awesome place. What we're supposed to do is we're a trader. We're trying to get money. So right away, you're going to go to the marketplace and you're going to look at all the different like goods that are available. We got wood, adobe bricks, grain, fruits, pottery, oil, wine, hemp. I swear that was something else. Wow. All right. Um, salt. All these things open up later on in the game. It's pretty cool. So if you come on out, we can look at the world map real quick. And we could like head over to Zara. If I write, if I, where'd it go? Yeah, if I click my ship and I head over to Zara, where'd it go? There we go. I can right click on Zara. And if I press the space bar, it'll hurry up and get over there. Good. Sweet. Now, now we're here. So I need to buy 40 pottery. And then I have to bring it to Venice. Sweet. Okay. So, oh, look at this place. It is one bustling metropolis. Look at all these, all the workers. I guess they're servants. We got cows at the butcher place the potter awesome okay so we'll go to the marketplace and we'll pick us up some pottery is that pottery yeah okay and he said bring back 40 so we'll pick up 40 we got our pottery let's head on back to venice sweet all right let's zoom right in we'll go back to the marketplace and we can sell the pottery back to venice awesome well done. thank you i think you made quite a tidy little profit on that sale you may have noticed. All right, so we got ourselves a free ship in the harbor. So if I click on the harbor master, he tells me I have a frigate available. So now I have. You can enlarge a convoy. There we are. You want by adding. So now there are two ships in my convoy. So there's two of us now, which is pretty cool. So we got to go from Venice all the way over here to Durazzo and buy us some fruit and grain and sell it to Ragusa because apparently they have a bit of a like a food shortage. So we're gonna check it. Oh wow! Look, there are two ships. We got, oh, is this the brickyard, the hemp plantation? They must be pretty happy over here in Durazzo. They're, they're pretty cool guys if they got a hemp plantation. A butcher, a few, oh, these are just, okay, whoa, whoa. The controls are a little crazy. You really zoom around real quick. Okay, so let's go to the marketplace and let's, uh, oh, wow, they got lots of fruit and that's a pretty good price, so. Yeah, so if you notice, the more you buy, the price changes. So this is kind of like the balance of supply and demand. It's pretty cool. So you got to watch how much you buy. So if I bought 100 of these, they would cost way too much. So I'm only going to buy like, we'll buy like, I don't know, 30, I guess. And they don't really have any grain. So we'll head back over. We'll go over to Ragusa. We'll zip on over. We're back here. Oh, look at this place. What is this? Houses. A weaving mill, a blacksmith, a bake house, another hemp plantation. Wow, these Italians, they were a uh, pretty easy going bunch. Okay, so here's the price. They, they buy fruit at $100. So I could sell them all my crap that I bought. And uh, right over here, oh, I'll put that away. Right over here, they tell you how much that you bought it for on average. And that's how many you have in your ship. So if I sell all these, boom, we cleared a pretty good profit, but we still got to buy some more. So we'll head back over to somewhere else that has grain. <laughs> Durazzo didn't have any. Maybe we can buy some more. Let's check it out. All right. Let's go right there. There we go. I don't want to buy it for 100, though. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do there. So we'll just buy, like, 24. No big deal. And you know what? Let's go back to Venice. I think Venice has grain. Let's try that out. You can see all the other little continents and all the little cities. There's, look, there's a little boot at Italy. That's pretty fun. All right, so let's zoom right in. Oh, no. Get out of there. Okay. I'll head over to the marketplace. There you go. They got some grain. Sweet. And they got much cheaper fruit. So we got a crap ton there. So we'll go back out. What's that hammer? I guess the house is being built. Pretty cool. Okay. So we'll head on back over to Ragusa. Awesome. Nice. Every time we get into harbor, you hear that nice dinging noise. Oh, these cities are just so cool. Lighthouse. I guess they call that the harbor. Look at that ship. I want a ship like that. All right. Now let's sell them all. Ooh. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. I got a little confused and I was buying and selling to the wrong guy. But here we go. We got it all set up. I got all the, all the goods for these guys. Awesome. And we will sell them all of it. Boom, and we made our money, and we came out awesome. All right, that was taken care of. Buy good in Durazzo and Athens and sell them in Ragusa. We did.
Your efforts to familiarize yourself with the life of a trader have not gone unnoticed. Unfortunately, not just for the good. It seems some families on the Council of Venice mock us. Really? Still, Who would mock me? We can be happy that not everyone on the Council thinks that way. Okay, so that was taken care of. Well then, supplying Ragusa has certainly improved your standing with the Council of Venice. There we go. Good thing. Because to rise in rank... Alright, alright. Now we need to advance the rank of wholesaler. To advance the rank of wholesaler, we gotta go back to Venice. Come on, let's go back to Venice. Oh, yeah. And I think I need to go to... City Hall, was it? No, I have to go to... The Senate. Is that it? No. That's not it. Do I gotta click on one of these guys? It's an honor to meet you. Oh, that guy. Can my right. Family hire you? And he's got a mission for me. I have a piece of a treasure map I could tell you. It came across a few days ago, but I'm not sure I'm cut out for that kind of adventure. Yes. All right, let's do it. Accept. All right, so where do I go and what do I do? All right, here we are, Venice. I got some more reputation with them. So where is the treasure map? Is that That's not it. Okay. Uh, missions and info. Okay. Treasure map. Come Completed. Now I need to find it under missions. Yes. I need eight more map fragments. So that, that, was, that was a pretty easy mission. And I think one of these guys had a mission for us. Who was it? Was it this guy? I think this guy had a mission for us. Oh, yeah. I guess not. Because there's no mission sign there anymore. What do they got to sell? Adobe bricks. That's a good price. You kind of learn what the good prices for stuff are the more you play. And then you go around trying to turn a profit. Now there's missions and stuff. And we should be able to advance the rank of wholesaler pretty soon. Alright guys, so it's been about 20 minutes. I've gone back and forth, back and forth, trading amongst the other cities, trying to gain my wealth and prosperity high enough so I can upgrade to a, a wholesaler or advance to the rank of wholesaler. I think with this last sale that I'm about to have... Oh yeah, I think I have enough. 100%. Okay, so now I go to the Senate... And it's time to go to the advancement tab. Here we are. We have our wealth, our stowage. Everything's here. Let's start the election. Let's see what happens. So I think if everybody's happy. Oh, yeah. There we go. One thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Three thumbs up. Four. Five. Six. Oh, yeah. Seven, eight. Nine. And ten. Sweet. All right. So today we are a wholesaler. Nice. You actually did it. <laughs> I'm surprised when too. Your grandfather demanded yes, yes, you yes. Life okay. To allow our family to advance socially. All right. So in the Venice City Hall, there's somebody here to meet. Can you help us out with something? No problem. Okay. Free ship. Right. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Is this the free ship? No, that's my ship. This is the free ship. Okay. So if I go to ships and I go to this dude. That's right. My Uncle Mario is going to command it. It's called the Death Star? Oh, yeah. Okay. Sweet. All right. So the Death Star and the Gamma. So the Gamma is supposed to go to Rome. I'm not sure where Rome is. Oh, there's Rome. Okay. We'll set the Gamma to Rome. And the Death Star, we will go back to the marketplace. Yeah. All right. And maybe we'll get some oil again. I've really flooded the market with oil. So we're going to watch our price. And what we'll do is maybe we'll go to Zara. What's really cool, the mechanic in this game, is by having two ships, like, or more, you can actually, like, get a lot more done. It's a lot more cool. You can, like, multitask. There we go. Sweet. Okay. And does anyone need wood? I think we can buy some. Oh, that's a lot of wood. And if I go here where they need wood. So my other, my other ship is... Very nice. There we go. The Modocene is arranged a trading license for Rome for you. Nice. You can now buy and sell goods at will there. Okay. Usually, so I got to acquire two more trading licenses. licenses. No problem. Market overseer, and they are expensive. All right, no problem. So let's go back here. Let's check it out. That was done. We have a lot of like. There we go. We made some money there, and they still got some oil, so we'll pick that up too, before the price starts changing. Nice. So let's bring this guy all the way to Durazzo. All right, and let's go check out our other ship right here. A convoy is. Oh, look at Rome. Rome's pretty awesome. They got a really, like, giant cathedral. Okay. So, what's here? 
Let's go to the marketplace. What do they sell? Hmm, nothing cool just yet. They don't really need much. They need, I guess, wood, but that's all right. Let's, uh, let's acquire some more trading licenses. What about Naples? That's a pretty cool place. All right, Durazo. Okay, Death Star has landed. And let's go to the marketplace and let's trade. Okay, we got lots of that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wait, we bought it for 60, so I guess we could... There we go, 62. Sweet, okay. And they don't really have anything else that's worth trading right now, so why don't we... Uh... Can we maybe find... What's this place? Let's do some exploring. Let's bring him down this way. Let's go to the other convoy at Naples. Okay, what does Naples produce? They produce wood, salt, honey. Okay. What do they need, though? Does it say what they need? Okay, demand. Demand for the entire city. They need pottery, sort of. Mainly grain, I suppose. And they have a bit of a hemp problem here. They're, they kind of abuse that. Okay, so they have a grain demand. We don't really have a good place to sell grain for, though. And if I go bribe... Nine! Jeez! Forget that. Okay, what about... Uh, let's head on over to Palmyra. Let's see what that does. Let's check out where our other ship is. Oh, okay, he's still in transit. Oh, okay, we made it. Alright. What does Palmyra do? They, uh... Okay. They produce bricks, grain, oil, and metal goods. Okay, and clothing. Not bad. They don't have much wood. They use it a lot, so that's a pretty easy one. And how much is it to get a trading license here? Nine G's. You guys are so mean. Uh, okay, we don't need to go here, do we? No. Okay. Let's head on over to Syracuse. Let's look at our other convoy. What's this over here? Caroni. Okay. Oh. Let's check out Caroni. Marketplace. All right, no problem. Goods list. All right, I think Caroni is a good one because we get oil real cheap in Venice. So if we buy a license here, cheap. There's a scruffy pirate off the city of Durazzo who's oh. interfering with trade. Maybe you can drive okay. him off. Okay. We gotta would gain you a better reputation. find ourselves where the scruffy pirate is off the coast of Durazzo. That's Durazzo. Let's head on over there. Let's check it out. A convoy is. Idle. Oh right. Okay. Let's go to our convoy. Let's check out Syracuse. Pretty cool looking place. They got some palms. What's this here? Oh, they got meat. Goods list. They don't make any wood. We can trade with wood. Awesome. Okay, these guys are pretty good. Let's bribe them. 10-5. Holy highway robbery. I wish I didn't buy that one yet. Okay. Let's just... Uh... Oh, the pirate. We found the pirate. Let's do this. Okay, Dagama. Attack. Okay, if you defeat this pirate, okay, sounds like we are really boned. What's the big deal? I don't get it. There we go. Okay, I have no clue what I'm doing. All right, close. 40 to 45. Um, I'd like to do an automated battle because I don't know how to do it. We have more cannons than they do, but they have more deckhands. Uh, let's just cancel for a sec. Can I bring this guy over too? How do I bring multiple ships into this? Okay. And what if I click, uh... Yeah. And I... I can't do it that way. Okay. I guess what I need to do then is to go to the harbor... Click the Dagama, go to the harbor, go to the shipyard. Oh no! Okay, let's get our best ship right here, the Dagama. Okay, and let's just do this. I want to kick this pirate's butt. We lost him. Ah, oh, we lost him. Okay, no big deal. That's no big deal. Okay, we got to buy one more trading license. Let's take care of it right now. And let's go to this dude and go to Candania. Nice. Okay. What do they got over here? Goods list. That's pretty good, too. They need grain. Awesome. Okay. Can we bribe these guys? That's not too bad. Sweet. Excellent. Nice. Your new trading licenses 
should make it easier for you to buy goods at better prices. And at the same time, you have opened up more markets for your own goods. Nice. Very good. I'm I already sure did that. Uncle okay. Marco will serve you well. Ah, okay. Harbor Master. What's this? Why is that glowing? Ah, oh, it's here. Okay, it's City Hill. Mission. Okay. They want 206 grain. Let's do it. All right. We got to go find us 206 grain. Let's go right to... Let's go right to Venice. Let's do it. We got to do it as fast as possible. These missions are, like, all about speed because what they do is they, uh, they hook you up. They give you a bunch of, like, extra money at the end of it. So let's sell this. Nice. And let's buy up all their grain. And we'll go back to the shipment and we'll sell it to them. Uh, oh yeah, they give us a really big bonus on it, don't they? Yeah. That's right. Okay, we'll wait for our other There's ships to arrive. Message from Venice. Come on, where's our other ship? There it is. Hey, buddy, what's up? Okay. There we go. Sweet. You know what, guys? What do we call it there? We're left to advance the rank of a merchant. This game is pretty cool. I really like it. I really like all the graphics. I really like the way the water's flowing and like all the, the detailing they have on all the ships and all the graphics there. I mean, the mechanic they have for the trading and the politics is also really cool. Why don't you guys tell me if you want to see more of this game? I really like it. I'd really like to play it on the channel. Um, if you guys do want to see more, please let me know in the comments. All right, guys, please like, favorite, and subscribe. They really help. I'm going to head back to Venice, and we'll see you next time, guys. See you later. Bye.